is a long play and it takes months or a few years to really master. Um, YouTube videos are also a type of marketing. You, YouTube is a, you know, the biggest video search engine. Um, so you want to use marketing to really engage your users and, and it takes time, but it, it's very effective. So you guys have over 5,000 customers globally and it's not, um, yeah, I mean, it's not for everybody. I mean, there's some major companies you guys have worked with. I mean, Toys R Us and Zumba and, and some massive companies. The tips and tools that you guys even learn after, let's say, a Zumba or Toys R Us or, you know, whatever other, other brands, because um, different brands have different products. I find that so many brands today try to market a product versus market education. And people are being thrown so much ads, like, check this out, it's so cool, versus how it adds value to people, like the information about it. What's your thought on people just throwing content out there to, to show off product versus really helping people get educated of why their product is superior um, or unique? Yeah, that's a really good point. To be honest, I'm not for the first um, part that you mentioned, like kind of doing the sales car salesman pitch of hey get rich fast or hey i have a car and i make a lot of money and i'll teach you how to do it too i've never been a fan of that approach um and it, there's many online marketers that do it now all the way from real estate a lot of real estate actually exists around that all the way to different ways to do sales online with digital products and so forth and selling informational products so yes, there's a lot of that and it's unfortunate and they kind of go after a demographic that's like kind of gets excited and then pays $500 for a course or a thousand bucks and then has a very, very small chance of success versus the second option, not to toot our own horn, is to educate the customer, educate the customer on what you do and how they can also succeed, right? How you do it better, uh, whatever your values and advantages and pros are for your platform. But not only that, you educate the consumer, the viewer, the reader. You educate them on the different ways they can become successful, the different niches they can be, in our case, of how to become successful, right? What niches do extremely well? How should they gain an audience? How should they um, you know, build an email list, all those different things educates our customer. And then when someone's like, oh, I want to build an email list, they Google that, they find us, but then they see, oh, they can also sell videos. That's how you can do proper marketing to educate that audience and bring them into your funnel. Um, so I'm absolutely for educating the user, finding the right audience so they stick around longer, the lifetime value LTV, rather than a get rich quick type sales pitch, which is a very noisy out there. And you're going to continue to see a lot of that, um, especially with Facebook ads and all those different things. I, I run into them personally as well. Um, you know, so you kind of got to read through the lines. It's a little difficult. I personally love when people inform me of the, um, the value of their product because I love being a customer of great products. Um, like my second dad, he owned Toyota dealerships in Southern California. So I loved, I had Priuses for, I don't know, eight years, something like that. And I loved the Prius. Um, yeah. When I had a kid and he's three months old now and my fiance and, and everything. And, and so now I got, a, I got an SUV, right? And, but I only bought an SUV because the value on tax incentives for having something over 6,000 pounds. So it's interesting. My buddy was like, why don't you do this? You can write off the whole thing. So it's interesting to be able to see for me how it aligns with my vision um, to be able to create that. Um, one last question. And I know I asked this to a lot of uh, presidents and CEOs and founders. Um, what is one thing that you don't have that if you had it, you would be able to make more impact on people's lives? Because you're building so much economic development within communities around the world. And I really, um, if I had had, I'd take it off for you. And I, I, I appreciate people like you that um, do that because we need more um, economic development in, in some areas we need, to, you know, we can hire people, we can, you know, grow. So what's that one thing that if you had it, cause somebody listening to this might, might say, Hey, I, I know that. And they might contact you. 
Um, obviously, people can contact you uh, and we'll plug your sites too. But um, what's that one thing? Yeah, I think that's it's personal influence. Like uh, one of the reasons I'm on your podcast is just to get awareness uh, and build my personal brand. But if my personal brand was a lot stronger, it absolutely helps. And I'm starting it now. It's only getting stronger, but it takes time. The reason I say that is the influence of me having a stronger brand enables me to create more awareness for what we do in order to, and I'll be able to help more people. So, um, you know, if you notice people that have big followings like yourself, you have a great following on your Instagram and other social channels. It's very easy for you to get your message out, right? You already have so many followers. So as your following gets bigger, it's kind of like an email list per se. It's really easy to start something new or tell some people how you feel or what something new you have a new foundation, organization, donation, whatever that may be, it gets to market really quickly rather than someone who doesn't have any kind of social capital per se or a website or email list. So absolutely, I think building influence is one of the things that I would pick. Awesome. Um, I will keep that in my mind and some people on here will we'll do some good posts for you. Uh, PJ, I really appreciate your time today. Can you real quick plug your website where you can go? I know your LinkedIn is awesome. Um, anything else you want to you want to you want to knock out? Absolutely, yeah. You can find you can actually anybody can email me PJ P as in Paul J as in Jack at uscreen.tv. That's the letter U and then screen.tv. That's also our website uscreen.tv. Instagram I think is slash or at uscreen.tv. And find me on LinkedIn is a great way for everyone to connect with me. PJ Tai, T-A-E-I is my last name. Awesome. I really appreciate it, bro. Hey, guys, every week, Significance Breed Success, every Tuesday. Thanks for joining us today. I, I'm glad PJ added some value for all of us. Um, PJ, have an amazing week. Appreciate it, bro. Awesome. Thank you. You got it.